more songs in here. We've got the quartet with us, and I thank you for that. And turn them with you.
real good boy.
heart. When that word tore my playhouse up, and it's doing yours if you're listening to it. That was something for me to do, Brother John. What did I do? I began to move out. Some of our brothers and sisters were moving out. That's why they walked the aisle. Praise God for that. Will that save you? God said, draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh to you. I, Brother Jamie, when he said that, he was talking to the church. I bet that will work for those that are seeking the good old way, which is the church and walk there in. Draw nigh to him, Brother Ross. He is nigh to us. This word in which we preach is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and heart. God is nigh to us. He has placed it down in your heart to know how that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is salvation unto the believer. And the believer is what? Is a doer of God's word. So when I heard that word and it pricked me in the heart, and I know it's doing you all the same way, I've seen the results when you see the tears are falling down from their face and they're walking out for the time. They're getting close. But little works with it. Will that save you? You can keep walking out all the rest of the days of your life. If you've done it for 20 years, you can die and go to hell. Right, right. Oh, that's why I don't start talking about him. Right. It's, real. it's real. The reason why we're talking this way is not because we want to hurt your feelings in the wrong way. How we want to warn you by the word of God that there's a real hell to shun and a real heaven to go to when life is over. So when I heard that gospel, I sat back there and my knuckles were up in that seat. Uh, and the devil was telling me, it ain't time to move out. And the Spirit of God was telling me, son, the very hour you give your whole heart to me, I'll be found with you. Yeah. Well, Lord was telling me, said, I saw where you're at. There's a wrong preacher there tonight. You need another one. I'm telling you there is but one preacher and his name is Jesus. Amen. Whether it be I that preached the word of God or somebody else, Paul said, just so Jesus is preached. What's that mean? Jesus is down inside of us, bro. Paul, he's the one who brings forth the message. Amen. The old scripture said, I'll send my word out where that I please. It shall not return unto me, boy, but shall accomplish. We're unto that I send it. Who are you talking about? God talked about his son. Yeah, sure. Prophesied a long time ago about it. His name is Jesus. Think about how good that it is. Yeah. So James said, the devils, they believe and they tremble. Thou believest in one God, thou doest well. The devils, they believe and tremble, brother, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, don't you know this? That faith without works is dead. Be alone. So what your works, and what, what am I trying to get to? I had to come to the conclusion that I'm going to lay it all aside and just like what Roger Maynard just said, be obedient unto what God told me. Yes. He said, confess me with your mouth. Believe in your heart that I am the Christ, the Son of the living God, the Savior of the world. Yes. Confess me with your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, be buried with me into my death at water baptism and be raised up with me, Jesus was talking about, in newness of life. Amen. A new creature in Christ Jesus has saved from the world. What's that mean? Come ye out from amongst the world and be ye separate. Amen. I tore in God and beside me no other Savior. Right. The name is Jesus. Amen. How glorious is that? Bless you, John. <laughs> it's good, ain't it, Brother John? Amen. We love the Lord this evening. Won't people be saved? Won't yeah. tell them the truth? That hell that I was talking about, it never was made for mankind. It was made for the devil and his angels. And then God added a little bit to it there over in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter. Every nation that forgets God shall be turned away into that lake that burns with fire and brimstone. That means every individual and every nation, Brother Jamie, that don't believe God and follow him will be turned away from his life. When the last breath leaves you, you'll never have another opportunity Amen. to make things right. Amen. There is no promise of tomorrow. The old must die and the young will die. <coughs> what the scripture said, that's the truth. What are you trying to do now? Trying to scare me? Yeah. The beginning of wisdom is to fear God. 
Yeah. How do you fear God unless you start believing in His commandments? Think about that. Two commandments. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang the law and the prophet. Hey, Brother John, if we keep that, we'll keep all the rest of it, won't we? Yeah. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Yeah. What I'd say one of those commandments was to get started in this true way. <laughs> Boy, you ain't asking much, brother. No. How can you confess him except that you believe truth? How do you know that you passed from death unto life? Love the brothers and sisters. You know, the devil told me when I gave my life to the Lord about 39 years ago, oh, that was too easy, son. You didn't. You just made a bottle. You didn't make things right. Man, I got worried. He's a liar. He's lied to me ever since. He'll lie to you until the last breath leaves you. But the way you get over that is with the truth. Stick your nose in the Bible once you're converted and give your life to the Lord and learn of me, Jesus said. He'll tell you the truth, won't he, Thomas? When that truth comes forth, brother, you know what a lie is, brother Chris. It's all from the devil. He's a liar and the father of it. And when I got scared and thought, boys, it may have been, I might have jumped the gun. The Lord put the truth in my mind. Yeah. He said, you know, you passed from death unto life. He put that out of my mind, clear as yeah. a bell. Yeah. You know you passed from death unto life because you love the brothers. You know what I've done when that come to my mind, Tommy? I turned around and looked back through that little church called Cumber. And I loved everybody who was in there. And I said, I know what the truth is. Yeah, that was the answer. God will answer you the truth, brother. I'm telling you. I've been a happy little pilgrim on the journey ever since. Thank the Lord for that. What time is it? Don't worry. I don't want to take this time. Glory. Those scriptures come to my mind that I've thought about this morning. I'll pray, y'all, just the way that it works. Faith! <coughs> Not to believe in what God has promised you. <coughs> this little fella called Jairus. He had a daughter about 12 years old. He could have went to the high priest. He didn't do that, did he? He could have went to a doctor. He didn't do that. He could have went to the Roman Empire and said, hey, can you do something for my daughter? She's alive, sick, about to die. Yeah. He didn't do that. He went to a man called Jesus. Yeah. I'm telling you, that man called Jesus is here, and he's strong this evening. Yeah. He dwells inside of Christian men and women. He knows everything about you. Amen. Amen. And when Jairus comes to Jesus, and there was a great crowd around Jesus, and he's going through this crowd press from every side, thrown from every side, and he's heading toward Jairus' house. I'm going to touch and heal, or I'll do what you've asked, Jairus. While he was oppressing through the crowd, there was something else took place. And yeah. God is not too busy to take care of your problem and somebody else's problem. Yeah. There was a woman that had an issue of blood for 12 years. Do you realize that she got that issue of blood when that little woman was born, that little daughter? At the same time, think yeah. about that. You know that Jesus was about 19, 18 or 19 years old when all that took place, and he knowed all about it. Right. And 12 years later, he knows what he's going to do about it. Mm -hmm. right. Now, the Lord has blessed you to be here many years and give you an ample opportunity to turn your life over to the Lord, and he may never give you another opportunity. He's a future teller. This might be the last of your future. Right. That's right. I want to tell the truth about Tommy. Yeah. Hurts to hear the truth, don't it? Yeah. To the flesh, it hurts the flesh. But to the soul, it's liberty to the believer thereof. Now, when he was heading toward Jairus' house to heal that little girl, yeah. Yeah. here come this woman with the issue of blood through the crowd press. She had done already, went to the doctor and spent every dime she had. And she still grew worse. Did she go to the Levitical priest say, heal me? No, sir, read. That was a big thing then at that time, in that time frame, you know. But she heard about Jesus, didn't she? <clears throat> she was sick to die. 
been sick for 12 years, issue of blood. Unclean, not even supposed to be around people in that old covenant. But she pressed through the crowd of the Chris. But she heard about Jesus and she had faith in him. Just like Garus had faith in him. That's why he went to him. Can you see her, a sick woman, a pressing through the crowd? Tommy, I've seen her a lot of times in my mind when she's getting close to Jesus. Man, just to push her away and just to crawl him until she finally reached and cut the border, the hem of his garment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she done said by faith in her mind and heart, if I can just touch the hem of his yeah. garment, I shall be made whole. Man, that's faith, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she sat at home and said she'll just sit here and have faith in it and not move out and do a little work. She's a sick woman and she'd do a little work. Yeah, right. I'm telling you what's the truth. If she had to move out, she wouldn't have received what God had to give. Right. If you don't move out, lost man or lost woman, you'll never receive what God's promised you. You may believe it all the days of your life like them old devils believe and they tremble and die and go to hell. The chains of darkness. Think about it. Awful, Tommy. You don't want nobody to go there, do you? When that woman touched Jesus, Brother Raj, he was in a hurry to get to Jairus' house. He knows this was coming. He, wasn't too big. he stopped, brother, right there, the traffic. Somebody. And he turned and he said, Somebody has touched me. Well, them apostles were thinking, Carl Mind, and said, Why, well, Lord, man, they throng you from every side. They're pressing from every side. Why, why did you say something like that? Somebody touched me. I'm telling you, this is a special touch. Yeah. God will know when you reach right. a hold of it. Right. Yeah. Right. Faith believing is the way you get it. Yeah. Say, work the same way, Brother Terry. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. Yeah. It went out of him and went into her. How do you want that virtue that only comes from God? You can have it this evening. Yeah. What is that virtue? It is power, it is authority. It is love. It's <laughs> all the good things that God is will pour out of him and pour in us. Amen. Do you want that? You can have it. Amen. Brother Chris, we got that a few years ago, didn't we? But yeah. We're half a pilgrim for our journey, ain't we? This is not our permanent dwelling place. This is a place we're supposed to get ready to live forever in heaven's country. If you don't get ready now, you'll never get to go. Right. Amen. 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 When Jesus comes back, you cannot go where he is. Nope. God accepts you while it's called day in your life. Think about that. Somebody touch me, I hope. I hope somebody touches Jesus tonight. We'll see them come to him if they do. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, the crowd was standing there looking at him. And it must have kind of sit side of the way a little bit, looking at each other, you know. Or may not fight with me. <laughs> Here come that little woman and she reveals herself to him. Do you know what? When that virtue comes inside of a person, they'll reveal themselves that they know Jesus. Yeah. They'll, they will reveal themselves that I have received the blessing from Jesus. I did. I come forth and confessed him with my mouth. Yeah. Next will do the same thing. She come forth and he said, she said, it's I that touched you. And she went through exactly why that she touched. That meant that she had faith in the operation that God brought in his son, Jesus. And she touched the hem of his garment and received virtue. Mm -hmm. And she was healed. Mm -hmm. right. Praise your brother. She was clean. Yeah. Be of good comfort, Jesus said to her. Do you want to have good comfort down in your life? Do you want to have peace down in your life? In the world, there's troubles and you can't get away from it. Amen. Christian men and women, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Try to get away from it. Can't get away from it. Just take troubles in the world. But Jesus said, in me, you have peace. Yes. She wanted that peace and she found it. She had to work for it, didn't she? Yes. She had faith and she put works to it. Jairus had a little daughter. Yeah. He put faith to it and he doing work to it. Because he went and found Jesus, didn't he? He could have sent it to the house and said, Jesus, come, help my daughter. And Jesus could have done that. He knows everything's going on. But Jesus said, you receive not, or you ask not. Amen. Do you want it bad enough to see the lost man, lost woman? Ask for it. And if they believe it, you'll receive it. 
Brother Thomas, we had to get to that point, didn't we? Yeah. It took us a while, but we got there. There's no promise that tomorrow a lost man lost me. Very soon, very soon. Very soon. Jesus knows his time, Brother Jane. We don't know our time. No. This may be the last time I speak before a little crowd here. Her time is all. But you know that that's all right, Brother Randy, if it is, if that's the Lord's will. Wherever you are. To be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. 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 That little woman that had the issue of blood, be of good comfort by faith that's made thee whole. Now he's heading toward Jairus' house. And here comes a man. The devil will tell you all kinds of lies, won't he? I don't suffer with the master no more. She's already died. You don't have to come to the house. Do you know that I was dead 39 years ago? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm dead and I don't need you. Yeah. I'd stay that way and end up in the devil's head. Right. Outside of God, Brother Tommy, we're dead. Right. If God up with us and down inside of us, we're alive. Yeah. Hey, Frank, think about that. This man come and said, I don't suffer the master to come to the house. Your daughter's already dead. You talking about tearing a little feller up to what the Lord done to yards. He said, don't worry, but just believe. In other words, you can be all right. Think about that. Yeah. Everything's all right with the Lord. Eh? Here they was heading toward Jairus' house, and as far as the world was concerned, she was dead. Did you know what the Lord said about it? Because she belonged to the Lord. He, she, he said, yeah. she sleepeth. Yeah. And the world laughed at Jesus. Big crowd had come there. And Jesus put the big crowd out. Amen. The world don't have no part with Jesus. That's why it says, come ye out from amongst the world. Be ye separate, for I am God. Yeah. Beside me no other say. Yeah. He put all the unbelievers out from amongst them. And there was Peter, James, and John. And Jesus and mommy and daddy and the daughter. That makes seven of them. That's a completion. That's a full house, Brother Tommy. You know what Jesus done? He took that sweet hand of his that he's reaching out to you this evening, lost man, lost woman. That sweet hand. Word. Got that little maid by the hand. And said to Litha Coom. That's Aramaic. And if you research what it truly means in the Bible, it tells what it says. <laughs> Maiden, arise. But I looked it up, Brother Tommy, to see if there's a little more to it. You know what another meaning of that is? To lift a coom? Little lamb, get up. The good shepherd said, little lamb, get up. That makes you belong to him. That's why she sleepeth. He raised her from the dead, brother. Right, right. And she must have been hungry because the Lord knowed all about it, said, give her some meat. Mm -hmm. She got up there walking around. It amazed them with a great amazement that they know that she was dead, but Jesus brought her to life. Right. Now I'm telling you, there's a bunch of Christians here this evening that know <coughs> you're dead. Lost man, lost woman, we know you're dead. Because we was right there in your shoes about 39 years ago. And we heard the true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. The words in which Jesus speaks, they are spirit and they are life. And to the believer can have his spirit down inside of him and can have the life. Yes, yes. Not dead no more, but a lively hope in Christ Jesus. Hope. Yes, when hope. you get that, yes, move out on it, man. Yes, Lord. We make it simple, old way, for him, don't we? When they come forth, sometimes, yeah. That's all we we ask you questions. Do you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ has forgiven you of your sin? He's the Son of God. You believe that? And you believe He's forgiven you of your sin? All you got to do is say the truth. Yeah! That's what I've done a few years ago. My dad would tell me, and I said, Yeah! He said, You're willing to follow Him all the days of your life according to the old King James Version of the New Testament? Yeah! All that's in favor of receiving this, our brother, our sister. Let it be known with saying I. Everybody says, yay, I. That's the love of God. It's in us, brother. Tom. We don't want to see nobody perish, do we? No, we don't. No, we want everybody to be saved. Amen. And then the next thing, this is the works. You confess with your mouth. 
by saying, yeah, that's confession. <laughs> You're bragging on the Lord with your mouth saying, yeah, absolutely. He hears that. He's a heart searcher. Then being obedient, as Brother Roger Maynard just said, we'll take you down to the water hole. After legally being baptized, receive us, brothers and sisters of the church of the living God. Bury you with Christ into his death, Brother Lamb. A fluke. Because you died out to sin. Raised up in the of life. Wet on the outside and dry as the chalk on the inside. Spark up. Come on, Brother Tim. I thought I already got started on something else in my mind. I thought I got started on something else.
you have ears uh, to hear, uh, let me hear uh, about the word uh, uh, passing by. Uh, listen, it's no wonder, brethren, uh, that the scripture teaches us uh, as the men of God uh, to preach the word, uh, to be instant in season, uh, out of season, uh, to reprove and rebuke and exhort uh, with all long suffering and doctrine. Uh, for the time come uh, uh, when men uh, will not heed sound doctrine, uh, but after their own lust uh, uh, shall they heed to themselves teachers, uh, having itching ears, uh, and turn away uh, uh, their ears from the truth, uh, and be turned uh, unto fables. Uh, uh, that's why old Bartimaeus uh, uh, sitting there blind, uh, he heard about Jesus, uh, uh, maybe Charlie, he heard about Jesus uh, healing the little woman uh, with the issue of blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might have heard uh, about Jesus uh, at the pool of Bethesda uh, telling the lame man uh, who was lame for 38 yeah, yeah. years uh, to take up your bed uh, and go to your house. Uh, he may have heard uh, from that multitude of people uh, at Jairus' house. Uh, about when Jesus had preached on the bow of Peter's ship after they fished all night and caught nothing. And then he told Peter to launch out into the deep and let down your net for a draw. And when they did that, a great multitude of fish come in their net nearly sank to boats. And Peter, he may have heard about falling down at the knees of Jesus and saying, Lord, depart from me for I am a sinful man. Hey, when he listened, he may have heard when Jesus said, from now on, Peter, I'll make you a fisher of men. Listen, and you know what that done? You know how faith come? Faith come by and here it come by the word of God. How can you hear without a preacher? How can they preach except they be sin? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But Tommy has cold water is to a thirsty soul. So uh, from a far country. Uh, now listen, uh, though blind Bartimaeus uh, sitting there was blind, uh, no doubt uh, he had to count uh, and he was adding up uh, all the miracles uh, that he'd heard about Jesus uh, doing. And here yeah, Bartimaeus uh, was uh, thinking in his mind, uh, I know I've heard about what Jesus can do. Uh, maybe a uh, perpetrator uh, he could give me my son. Uh, and you know what you gotta do, don't you? Uh, uh, this book said, uh, ask uh, and you shall receive. Uh, uh, seek and ye shall find. A uh, uh, knock and it shall be opened. Uh, everyone uh, that asketh a uh, uh, receiver uh, uh, to him that seeketh uh, uh, he finds. Uh, if you knock uh, he'll open. He said, listen. He said, behold. I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open up. He said, me and my father will come in and take up our bowl. Yeah. Bartimaeus uh, sitting there by the highway blind and couldn't see. And Brother Dolphus, he got his and up a little bit and here's what he done he said Jesus thou son of David will you have mercy on me yeah listen they was a crowd around Bartimaeus 
Jesus. And there was a crowd around Jesus. And listen, some people that was nigh Bartimaeus told him, they said, don't trouble the master. But you know what? Bartimaeus had made up his mind. I will not go home a blind today. Right, he cried the Lord. Jesus, thou son of David, will you have mercy yeah. on me? Yeah. And the Lord stopped where he was. And he said, bring this man to me. And listen, somebody said, Bartimaeus, be a good comfort. The Lord is calling for you. He laid aside his garment. My old grandma, Ollie Stacy, she said, I'll tell you the best thing I ever did. When I laid off the old coat and I put on the new, oh, this old, this new coat, it fits me and keeps me so warm. It's good in the winter, it's good in the storm. Listen, Lord of Mayors made his way to Jesus. And Jesus said, what would you have me do to you? Yeah, yeah. He said, Lord, that I would have received my sight. He said, go thy way, son. Your faith has made you whole. There's that faith again. And immediately his eyes yeah. were open. Yeah. And he saw every man clearly. Today is the day of salvation. Right. If you hear his voice, hard not your heart. I'm done. Come on. I can listen back for another 15 minutes. I can thank the Lord for coming up and saying, Oh, Brother James Cass. Good preaching. While they're coming to say, here you sit in the middle of the road, blind and cannot see, but be of good cheer. Yeah. The master's calling for you. Yeah. Are you going to sit there and let him walk on? Are you going to go home blind? Are you going to come out of there and lay your garment aside? And are you going to go home a brand new creature in Christ Jesus? While they sing, every lost in this building today, if God is dealing with you, come boldly. Come boldly to the throne of grace. Yeah. If you want to pray, we'll pray with you. If you've done made your mind up that you want to give your life to Jesus and you just want to make an open confession to this church, do that. Yeah. But don't stay where you're at. If you die where you are in sin, where Jesus is, you can't go. Yeah. While they sing.
station or, or drop out. Uh, it's getting pretty bad. It's, it's hard to find ministers. And uh, down here, we were short handed, uh, probably old dying short handed, get short handed everywhere. <coughs> but as far as we know, that all the chapel probably will be closed and their doors. And uh, maybe some of the members will be coming to Thank you, Brother Bob. We hate to see that.